Water is an essential part of the life of a crop. It provides moisture and helps deliver essential nutrients and is by far the most important resource of the American farmer. Irrigation fills the gap between what Mother Nature supplies naturally and what plants need for optimum growth. And K-Line Irrigation is the newest form of irrigation to come to the aid of the American farmer. One of the things that irrigation is used for is to supplement the water that is available in times of drought or in drier times of the year. The amount of water needed for full crop production rarely comes naturally. To meet the needs of the crops, we must look to the practice of irrigation. In the early days, irrigation was done by diverting river water and mainly it was just flooded over the top of the soil close to the river. As times progressed, pumps were invented, canals were put in, uh, different types of flood systems were put in, but it was all still just flood irrigation. With flood and some other types of irrigation, the water is put on too fast for the soil to absorb, temporarily plugging the soil's pores and causing water and nutrients to run off into low-lying or unintended areas. Irrigation has changed dramatically over the years. No longer do farmers rely on the flooding of rivers or primitive wooden wheels to water their crops. Science and technology has allowed for far more advanced and efficient methods. With the new technologies and sprinklers and pumps and everything else, we've become far more efficient with how we use water. We're using a lot less water to get the crops that we need. Uh, one thing that I really liked about using these is we're able to water into the corners and get full coverage on the place. We have used a traveling gun in the past and I think we're getting better coverage with these K-lines. Uh, this year's been a little challenging with the drought. Um, but yet we've been able to keep grass growing all summer. And so it was with these same challenges in mind that John Kirk, a dairy farmer in New Zealand, developed a revolutionary method of irrigation. K-Line Irrigation is an irrigation system out of New Zealand. It's in the United States now. Although K-Line is designed primarily for pastures and low forage crops, it does have many other applications, including animal affluent dispersal through VTSs, vegetative treatment systems, municipal wastewater dispersal, vegetable and orchard irrigation, pre-watering before planting, and land reclamation. K-Line is also perfect for any situation where irrigation equipment must be totally removed for other activities like athletic fields, golf courses, and dust control for indoor and outdoor arenas. K-Line Irrigation's application method is unique to the industry. The water is applied slowly over a long period of time, like a soft rain. The water is normally applied in either 12 or 24 hour shifts before moving the line. This slow application method practically eliminates runoff and allows the moisture to penetrate deep into the soil profile where water and nutrients remain available for the plants. The result of John Kirk's vision was an efficient, easy to use irrigation system that quickly caught on with farmers in New Zealand. K-Line irrigation has now become the most popular form of irrigation in New Zealand. In New Zealand, a lot of their agriculture is grass-based. In other words, they let the livestock do the harvesting of the crop. Here in the United States, it isn't so prevalent, but with energy costs going up every day and land becoming more and more valuable, we need to find a way that is cheaper. By allowing the livestock to harvest the grass, it eliminates the need to cut, dry, bale, and store the forage, and the cow spreads the manure or fertilizer naturally, thereby minimizing input costs to the farmer. Today, American Farmer is on location in Nebraska at a farm that employs the use of John Kirk's revolutionary system. With K-Line irrigation, if you can drive across it with a four-wheeler, you can probably irrigate it. You can set the system up to go around groves of trees, gullies, and things like that that you normally couldn't cross with any other irrigation system. So what you can do with K-Line is put the water on right after the cattle have grazed that certain grazing cell very rapidly. Then on your next irrigation cycle, you might move it only once a day so you get the deep percolation of the water into the soil. You'll actually manage the soil profile that way and the water holding capabilities of the soil. John Kirk's method of irrigation is a proven method of applying water to crops. Because it is easy to install and move with a small tow vehicle, K-Line can be applied to virtually any land. K-Line irrigation can handle the most difficult terrain, including irregular or hilly ground. K-Line can be used just about anywhere you can drive an ATV. Brian Andreessen is using his K-Line system 
to apply liquid runoff from his feedlot back out to his vegetative treatment area. Brian's VTA is a designated parcel designed with help from his local NRCS to allow him to apply animal affluent nutrients back to the soil in a controlled manner to protect valuable water sources. This fit where I'm going with it. I'm going to a vegetative treatment area or a grass area that um, digests my nutrients from the runoff and um, it was more economical than a pivot system and it's much more flexible because in case I have to change the field I'm going to, it's really simple to do that. They work well for us. We don't have to put gates in the fences like you would with a center pivot to move them through. They fit right in the paddock. They don't bother the cattle. The cattle don't, don't tend to bother them. K-Line Irrigation is quickly becoming a household name in agricultural communities. Every day, farmers that would otherwise have no access to irrigation are installing a system that can save them time, energy, and money. I believe that the future of K-Line Irrigation is especially bright because K-Line Irrigation solves three of the most difficult problems facing animal growers today. The first issue is to have a consistent and dependable supply of nutritionous forage for their animals and to be able to graze nearly year-round. The second issue is conserving our precious water. The K-Line application way is to put on about a tenth of an inch an hour and leave the sprinklers in place for 24 hours. The third issue is providing a way of economically and efficiently dispersing the effluent water that comes from animals that are held in confinement. K-Line offers a way of dispersing that effluent efficiently and effectively to surrounding fields, at the same time uh, protecting the environment because the nutrients are quickly absorbed by the growing plants there. K-Line irrigation is being used on parcels as small as two acres and as large as 3,500 acres. For more information and a list of authorized K-Line irrigation dealers, visit www.k-linena.com or call 866-66K-LINE.